when you live on a boat, your house is, well, a boat. So if your house is a boat, what is your car? For us, our car is just a smaller boat. We call this smaller boat a dinghy or a tender. A tender because it tends to the big boat. Cars come in many different shapes, sizes, costs, and with different functions. Similarly, dinghies also come in many shapes, sizes, materials, and for different functions as well. We have had quite a few different dinghies in the past. Some didn't have an engine and we had to row them. Some had small engines. Some had super old engines. And one was even a little too big to be considered an actual dinghy. Through our years of cruising, we have really narrowed down and focused on what is important to us in a dinghy. A lot of cruisers use their dinghy to simply just get back and forth from their boat to nearby shore. But we use our dinghy a little bit differently. So instead of our dinghy being an old sedan, we needed our dinghy to be a bit more like a rugged, durable SUV. We need our dinghy to handle some rough roads, or choppy waters, and take us a little bit further than we would be comfortable going in any other dinghy. We need our dinghy to be as big as possible to be able to fish, dive, kite, foil off of, but not too big where we can't hoist and stow it reasonably. We need our dinghy to be light, but durable, which is why we like an aluminum hull rib. Rib is rigid inflatable boat. How cool does it look? It's pretty cool. So Highfield Marine worked with us closely to come up with a perfect little boat for all of our needs. Just so we're perfectly transparent, this dinghy is sponsored in exchange for being featured in some of our content. But with that being said, they are not paying us a single dollar and have absolutely no say in what we talk about in this video or any other future videos. Okay, she's inflated and we're ready to put her in the water. This model is a Highfield Classic 340, which is the max length that will fit in between the two holes to be hoisted on our next catamaran, and about the max that our small hoist can handle on this trawler. Shiny. The boat itself weighs less than 160 pounds thanks to its aluminum hull. We have of course went with Hypalon material which is much better in the UV and they added a few extra wear patches for us because they know we use our gear really hard. Because we sometimes find ourselves in rough conditions and or doing some quick maneuvers, we added some extra rope handholds which give us many secure places to grab all around the boat and they are also perfect to hang our hanging mesh storage bags that we found on Amazon to hold things like sunglasses, sunblock, sandals, and fishing flyers. The boat comes standard with this nice EVA foam all over the decks, a sturdy little bow step, and a front hatch for our fuel tank so that it's secure and out of the way, and we can even run the fuel line down underneath the deck to the engine.
This outboard engine, just like most outboard engines, have an onboard fuel filter, but I always like to add an additional fuel filter in front of the engine, just for additional filtration and also so I could spot any water in the fuel in the cycle. And if you're not familiar with Tef Gel, this is a greasy substance that I lather on all our stainless steel hardware where it's going to come in contact with the aluminum hull. This helps prevent the aluminum hull from corroding, accelerated by the dissimilar metals in an electrolysis environment, aka salt water. In other words, if I didn't use this Tef Gel and other things like nylon washers, the aluminum would corrode extremely quickly where it's in contact with the stainless steel hardware. We had this local fabricator weld up this aluminum storage box which mounts directly to the hull and provides some incredible waterproof storage as well as secure storage when we add the lockable hasp. We also had the same fabricator come up with this sweet little dinghy arch that we can mount our rod holders to, any miscellaneous accessories, and it even has a little tow hook so we could tow behind the dinghy. We will eventually paint or powder coat the bare aluminum components, but let's first test out the boat and see what she's got. I know this is a little bit of a different video than normal, but we just wanted to introduce you to our family SUV, and we hope you enjoy this one. Don't forget we have some brand new Mountain Mist t-shirts and long sleeve shirts out. If you order today, Friday, December 16th, the day this video comes out, then you will receive them in time for Christmas. Any time after that, you probably won't. We hope you guys enjoy this video, and we'll see you next time.